describing something in English. Today, we're going to see how people describe everyday objects in English. I've asked Leslie to talk about something we just received in the mail. Listen to what she says, and we'll talk about the description process later. Here are some expressions we will use in the video. Listen and see if you can hear them. There's, you can, with it, adjectives, be good for, any which way. Ready for the video? Take it away, Leslie and Kaylin. Leslie, what do you got there? <laughs> I'll just open it. Okay. Okay, so. Whoa, so much bubbles. Box. So much bubbles. <laughs> okay. I'm excited to try this out. It's a memory foam bendable travel pillow, which, okay, so it's pretty soft. It has a little hook here. Well, that doesn't look like a pillow. It looks like a snail. Okay, so um, there's a little hook right here where you can roll up your pillow so it can be in a small size, which is good for traveling. Cute. Um, instead of, you know, normal pillow that doesn't have that. Ooh. Okay, so here's the travel pillow. Let's see. It's pretty soft and squishy, which is really nice for traveling. And you can see that it can bend like this if you'd rather have it more thick or thin or even long like this you can do it whichever way you want um and yeah it's pretty comfy does and it hook in the front so you could like connect it in the front um it can if you want to hook it that way it doesn't go anywhere or you can tighten it so that it's stable around your neck or you can have it loose any which way you want can, for when you travel. Can you like lean against like a, a vertical wall with it? Yeah, you can do anything with this pillow because of its form, you know, like it can go any way you want. Ooh. And um, you, you could even use that for like lumbar or something if you wanted to really. Yeah, you can like... put it around your waist if you'd rather have that um if you have back problems or really anywhere so yeah conversation strategies for descriptions there's you can with it adjectives be good for verb ing any which way When describing objects, there are several things you can say. Use, there is, or there are, to talk about parts of the object. Also, there's, or there are. For example, there's a hook on the side. There are two knobs on the drawers. You can verb. For example, you can bend it. That's when you're talking about something you do to the object. You can write with it. That's something that you do with the object. Adjectives are very useful in descriptions. You can often recognize adjectives by their endings. For example, you can bend it. It is bendable. Other words with this ending. Changeable. Fixable. Portable. Profitable. Another example, you can squish it. Squish means something like squeeze. It is squishy. You see the Y ending here. Other words with this ending are creamy, glossy, fishy, comfy, and bubbly. For more information, see our video about adjective, 
and word endings. Be good for or be good for verb ing. To describe what an object can be used for, you can say, it is good for school, reference, travel, or traveling. They are good for sports. To describe what the object can do, you can say, it is good for verb ing. For example, it is good for cooking. They are good for fixing things. Other expressions, any way or any which way. Also, you can say in any way or any way you can or any way you want. That means however you want. It's up to you. For example, the object is versatile. You can use it in many ways. You can use it any way you want. Don't get this one mixed up with any way, one word, which means nonetheless in contrast to what is expected. The dive was difficult, but he did it anyway. Bonus expression. Have got something. This expression just means have with a little extra emphasis. For example, I've got a secret. What have you got there? That means what do you have? Don't get this mixed up with have got to, which means have to or must. For example, I've got to go. Watch the video again to review the expressions. Here are some other words and expressions from the video. Pillow. The man here is holding a comfortable pillow, something you rest on. Memory foam. That's a kind of material that regains its form after you've slept on it, for example. Snail. The animal at the bottom of the page is a snail. It usually lives on land and it carries a shell on its back. Lumbar means the lower back region. The businessman on the right is holding his lumbar region. He's got some lumbar pain. Tighten means to make something tight or more secure. Try it out. That means experiment with it. Take it away means go for it. Go ahead and do it. Hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like to get the memory foam pillow, please click on the link below. And if you have things you would like to learn more about, please let us know. Thanks for watching. Remember to click on the thumbs up icon in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn even more.